Alright, what's up guys? Today on this cold, crappy, rainy day, we're going to go and fix something on the Eclipse that I've needed to do for a while and I just haven't really had the motivation to do it and I've had other things that were a little bit more important in the way of doing it is I'm going to go fix the exhaust leak that is at the very bottom of the header where the header meets up with, I don't know what you call it, the mid-pipe. I guess that's what you would call it. Let's get the hood popped and I'll show you exactly where it is leaking and then I'll explain how I'm going to fix it. Alright, so I'm leaking exhaust at the back where the mid-pipe meets up with the header. It's just a cheap eBay crap header and crap mid-pipe. So they leak. I've seen app like name brand aftermarket headers that use the same setup to mount them or to clamp pipes together and they seem to work fine for them but being eBay junk it doesn't so I'm going to take the header off completely and I'm gonna go ahead and take the mid pipe off which is pretty straightforward take the O2 sensor out and some bolts up here and then the two bolts where the mid pipe reaches its end which is all the way up here there it is right in front of where my glass packs at basically that's where I'm gonna unbolt it there and then from the engine block I'm gonna take the header off keep that all one piece and then I'm just gonna weld all of that into one giant section of exhaust it will reduce the possibility of leaks and it doesn't it's not really gonna hurt anything the only reason those sections of exhaust are separate in the first place is because this car obviously came with a catalytic converter from the factory so they needed to uh, have a way to you know remove the cat so the cat comes unbolted yeah I'm going to go and get all of that stuff off real quick won't take long the car is not hot or anything so I should be able to just unbolt this off real quick I got the Jackson over here ready to go so I can get underneath the car and unbolt that and then I'll go outside in the weather real quick grab my welder and my grinder get set up over here and we'll do a little bit of quick welding there is the header off of the car is extremely easy to get out I just had to slide it out through down the bottom basically I bumped into the radiator in a couple spots a little bit it'll be okay I do want to get an eBay aluminum radiator so I wasn't being overly careful as long as I wasn't poking holes in it we leak exhaust right there basically and when this was on the car I could come down here and like wiggle these pipes around and stuff really annoying I never really could hear it but I could definitely smell it quite frequently so this will be very nice to have all welded together basically I'm gonna weld a small portion of it around and then I don't know if I'm gonna end up just welding around these or cutting them off and doing something else but we will see what exactly I decide to do but I definitely will be getting this leak situation fixed and then I'll decide what I want to do with these bolt tabs after that once I have enough weld on there to hold the thing together. Wow. Harbor Freight Welder wants to put in work today, I guess. That was good. Satisfied with that. Now I can unbolt these and start getting all the way around. I do think I'm going to go ahead and cut these tabs off just to get them out of the way and make this look a little bit cleaner. And I also think I might spray some paint on this thing real quick while it's still warm as long as it's not raining outside because I'm not going to do it in here. You already know it's about to happen. Boom. There's one. Never trust Harbor Freight grinding wheels. Also, never trust me to actually plug something in.
All right, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see with the garage lighting, but I didn't do too bad considering it's Harbor Freight Welder and I did not clean or prep very well. There are some spots, especially around right here, where there's like that overlap pieces where I didn't grind everything all the way off. And then over by the O2 bong, I had a little bit of trouble with it. And of course there's slag everywhere. It was probably a little bit rusty and corroded right around that joint where everything was kind of mushed together. But it shouldn't leak anything. I've checked it with a light and I wasn't able to see any light coming out of it or reflecting off inside. So hopefully we don't have any leaks. I really doubt we will. I definitely packed a lot of wells right around this area just to be sure. But like this one right here was probably my best one because I was able to just continuously go except for right there where that one big ball is. I stopped and I continued and... I didn't do too bad, especially for not having touched this thing in so long. This was definitely where most of the cleaner material was, so it definitely liked it. And once the welder starts getting warm, which probably means if I were to torch this stuff beforehand and get it nice and hot, it would be a lot happier. Once the metal starts to get warm, the Harbor Freight welder does a lot better, I noticed, because you guys will hear it maybe. I don't know. I might slow it down in a spot or two just so that you guys can hear but once the pipes start to get warm and the wires all warm and everything, it really just kind of hums along. It's really nice. So now I'm going to go and paint this really quick so that it doesn't rot out. And one thing I forgot to mention that I have is I have some heat wrap. I'm going to put it on at least the top portion of the header. I don't know if I have enough to do my entire thing. I actually pulled this off of a car at a junkyard. They were doing one of those uh, wheelbarrow sale things. So I basically got this for free because I just tossed it in the wheelbarrow and got it. And it's a decent amount of wrap, as you can see. It was a complete wrap, and it wasn't even tied to the car that it was on. So I got free heat wrap, and I just had to go buy the ties. So I'm going to put that around at least this upper portion of the headers and then as much else as I can and not have as much heat escaping out of the engine bay as well, which will be good. So like I said, I'm going to go paint that and then start heat wrapping that. All right, all of the heat wrap is on. I didn't do a perfect job because I just didn't have enough wrap or enough ties to do everything. It was free wrap, and I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of ties to do each runner individually, so I just did this. It'll be a lot better off than it was before, and if I decide I don't like it, I guess I can just take it off. But there it is. Now it's time to go and install it back on the car. All right, everything is put back together. I'm not completely satisfied with this heat wrap and I may actually just end up taking it all the way back off and running without it, but I will see how it does. Uh, it's not insulating super well either, but hey, we'll see how it does. Anyway, that is everything. I just checked for leaks just by hand real quick and I did not find any exhaust leaks anywhere. I mean, I can run my hand down here and I don't feel any leaks at all. So my exhaust leaks are totally fixed, at least up in the engine bay area, so I won't get a bunch of fumes anymore. And the car might be a little bit quieter even. I'm not really sure. It definitely doesn't seem much quieter right now. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you all very much for watching this really quick video. Me doing some exhaust work. And I will catch you guys later.